so we commonly use the nines and we commonly use um, you know, the reference to, to percentage uptime. But we've got to remember that the nines are just a statistical um, tool that really is generally based on mean time between failure and TDF figures. They don't necessarily take into account operational practices. So, you know, it, it, it is, dare I say, somewhat theoretical. Um, also, if, if you think about six nines availability, 99.9999% you know, uptime, that still allows for 32 seconds a year service outage. So that could be a single 32 second period, or it could be 32 one second outages or 64 half second outages, each of which is actually going to take out the entire IT load if that outage is on the electrical side. So you know, the, the whole idea that we have you know, a 6 nines SLA or something of that nature is kind of nonsensical unless it's actually, unless we actually define what that really means. Is it power? Is it cooling? Is it network? It's, it's all a bit meaningless. So you'll hear a lot of people bandy around the terms of you know, five, nine, six, nines or whatever. But I think unless it's actually explicitly defined, it's an absolutely meaningless term. It doesn't really mean any, anything. Uh, and again, as I said here, you know, anything more than a 20 millisecond outage is going to take out pretty much the entire IT load, certainly a 25 millisecond outage. So, so it, it's a little bit meaningless. And yet we, we do in the industry continue to talk about, you know, percentage up times in terms of the nines without really actually understanding what it means. Uh, and, and hopefully this explains to some degree why we shouldn't do it. It also explains why the Uptime Institute uh, have dropped percentage uptime, uh, and that was some time ago. Also, we, we tend to use the term availability and re reliability somewhat synonymously. Um, they're actually not the same thing. Reli re reliability is the probability uh, of a system operating failure free over a period of time. Availability is the probability that at some point, uh, well, it's, it's the about the, the, the the uh, probability of a system being operational throughout a period of time. So availability and reliability are related, but they are distinct and they are often confused. And so I think when we're talking about data centers, I think we really need to understand what we are talking about. And generally speaking, we're talking about service availability or we should be talking about service availability rather than just reliability. Um, and again, I, th I think it's worth being aware that those terms shouldn't really be used interchangeably because they're not. Uh, the rest of this you can actually read yourselves. This deck will be available, by the way. Um, again, another, uh, probably a more detailed definition of availability and reliability. So availability in its, singles, in its very simplest form is uptime divided by uptime plus downtime. You know, how long is a system up? Um, and it's always expressed as a percentage, as, as again, uh, and, and in terms of mean time between failures and mean time to recovery. So MTDF is mean time between failure. And that's typically something that's determined using individual systems and components and working out really from a manufacturing perspective what their life, likely lifetime is and therefore when they're likely to fail. And then MTTR is the mean time to recover. And, and that's typically talking about a service uh, rather than a system. So, you know, again, something to consider when we're talking about data centers in terms of reliability and availability. Downtime, we've talked about in terms of percentage, but again, let's be very, very careful when we use percentages. Um, what are we actually talking about? Are we talking about power? Are we talking about cooling? Are we talking about network? Are we talking about IT service availability? You know, what are we actually talking about here? Uh, and without that definition, the term is pretty meaningless.